So after the 49ers week eight victory over the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night football, uh, during the post game interview that was being done with San Francisco 49ers quarterback, Brock Purdy, uh, Nick Bosa crashed the interview and he just happened to have a white make America great again hat on, which, uh, some people were not happy with. Those people that were not happy with it were people with the NFL. Um, and it was, it was fait accompli that he was going to get fined. Just normally, those fines are usually handed out the following week. But for this one, for some reason, it took him two weeks. I don't know, probably because there was a little election last week. So, the NFL finally this weekend issued its fine to Nick Bosa of $11,255 for wearing a MAGA hat during said postgame interview from week eight. Now, this is an article from Yahoo Sports. The NFL fined 49er star Nick Bosa $11,255 for violating league policy against displaying personal messages by crashing M- NBC's postgame interview on October 27th, wearing a MAGA hat per source. And of course, when Nick Bosa was questioned about that, he said, quote, it was well worth it. (laughs) That was on November 9th. Now, he did repeat that. I believe it was this past Wednesday. Possibly. Uh, He said it was well worth it about the potential fine after the presidential election resulted in Donald Trump's re-election. I don't think my position on speaking about it is going to change. Clearly, the nation spoke, and we got what we got. So, of course, you know, somebody had to post the rule that he broke. NFL rule book, rule 5, section 4, article 8, specifically prohibits players from wearing gear with any kind of personal political message. On the night of his hat display, Bosa didn't add much while talking to reporters saying, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I think it's an important time. However, both Jonathan Jones of CBS Sports and Mark Maskey of the Washington Post both reported five days later the NFL was reviewing the incident for a possible discipline. A suspension was unlikely, but the league didn't announce a decision on a fine until more than a week later, notably after the results of the presidential election. So... There you have it. He was fine. Now, that leads me into this. Yesterday, during the 49ers game with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here in Tampa, Nick Bosa pays tribute to Donald Trump with this celebration. So, Nick Bosa was, he managed to sack Buccaneers quarterback Baker Mayfield. And when he got on his feet, this is what we got. And what's even crazier yet is Malcolm Floyd got in on the dance too. (laughs) So there you go. Uh, Nick Bosa. Crashes a post-game interview. We're in a MAGA hat, gets fined two weeks later after the election. Then the next day, gets a sack, does a little shuffle. And that's all she wrote. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Uh, While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.